Suyash Mehta, Danica Mosher, and Lauren Namira are our three officials this evening. Brasdakis with five to shoot, driving in, hanging, and hitting off class. But Stan Heath, the Magic head coach, said the other squad. So Westchester coming off of a short training camp like all G League teams. So Zach Irvin draws the foul. Now Lamar Peters going right to the rack. And back to Westchester. Stay home, stay home. Amir hitting off the dribble. Got it. Cut. Hinton in control. Peters, crossover. Brasdakis with his feet set for three. It's not just any other game, right? As, any, as, as much as people want to say. It's the world's most famous arena. White from the corner. Andrew White the third knocks it down. So Hall missing the free throw there and an empty trip as Domingo goes back door for the baseline slam. Majet running the show from the point guard spot. Gravette open, knocks down a three. Majet found an open teammate on the wing. First time that Madison Square Garden has hosted a G League game. Vic Law knocks down the mid-range J to tie it at 16. Shot clock down to three. Johnson in the paint. John Davis missing from straight away, but another offensive rebound. Now on the reload, it's Johnson. He rattles in a three. Whenever we would give up an offensive rebound on defense, coach would automatically count that as three points. Rob, a strong finish. And one. Did you be in the game after allowing oh, not an very, offensive board? Not very much longer <laughs> after that. David Fisdale, the current head coach of the New York Knicks, as Johnson draws the foul and one. Ignis Brasdakis gets called for the foul. Peters uses the screen to the corner for Amir Hinton. In and out, Brasdakis flying in for two. Brasdakis driving off the three. Up with the right hand through contact. And Iggy Brasdakis joins the likes of Damian Dotson and Luke Cornett, Ron Baker as of the last couple of years to be on assignment from New York. Steven Domingo grabs the offensive rebound. Let's see if the adage is right. Is it three? It is again. Domingo again. knocks it down from straight away. But we play on as Westchester had the ball. Kick out, Andrew White the third. One dribble and a swish. As he is on the bench now along with Ivan Rab. Those two have been playing together, both NBA players. Ten to shoot midway through the second quarter. VJ King on the baseline, a hard take, and he flips it up and in. The team is a lot faster. The athletes are just as good as you, but if you're talented and you can put the ball in the basket, then you're capable of doing that on any level. White the third, that one rims out. Majet pushing to Johnson, a transition. As Josh Majet, who led the league in assists two years ago, picks up his fourth helper. White the third, driving in and scoring building chemistry and meshing with his new teammates. Majet lost it, Smith, good D, and he puts it in. Peters wants the screen, it's set by Wooten. Peters into the paint. White the third, pulls up and knocks it down from the elbow in rhythm. Two seasons ago, he was with Atlanta. Spent last year overseas, and now he's back with Orlando as Lamar Peters rolls it in. Eight minutes of action. B.J. Johnson with the shot clock winding. Peters grabbed a patch and lost a headband. It's a change in wardrobe. So what does it mean for him to get extended time tonight as he's played over 14 minutes? 
tonight is a really good opportunity for him because of the minutes that he'll be able to play a lot more games and he's not going to be getting that repetition during games. Played four minutes last night for the New York Knicks. There he knocks down a triple. And it's really going to determine how in shape your players are getting down the stretch because there's not as much time to rest. Shooting two free throws. The Jet maintains the dribble, bounces it to Law, nearly a turnover, and the broken play results in Humphrey slamming it down. So if an offensive rebound is worth three points, what's giving up the ball in the backcourt worth? Ivan Rab pulls down the rebound. That was in, found in transition for three. And, and basketball. The number is now up to 80 percent. Perhaps loosened it up there for that layup. Absolutely. He looked great and under control coming in off of the timeout and taking advantage of the open lane and getting a bucket once he's the box scores after the fact. But you'll be able to tell, you know, if maybe you can implement that rule knowing that it's at least going to be, should be two shots. In transition, Steven Domingo differentiate between free throws and extrapolate the stat out further. Right. A former Long Island net providing some veteran leadership to this Westchester club. There, grabbing the rebound and putting it right in. Other instances, the player must be at the table at the time of the whistle. The Jet on the pull-up splashes down the jumper. Broken play, Moore on the outlet to Smith. Flying high here at MSG. And the way that he's shooting, he may have hit the bottom of the net. The other way, VJ King, no one picked him up. King sandwiched between two players, lots of contact and no whistle. Vic Law, it's a long two, and they'll review it at the next dead ball. Smith, two-man game with Wooten. Loose ball picked up by White, the third off balance. King interrupted that pass. B.J. Johnson gets it back. On the kick out to Davis, no good. Ball popped up. Kaiser ripped it away. Ten-point lead, largest of the night for Lakeland. Out on the run, thrown up to Johnson. That's a cross-court pass and an air ball. Kenny Wooten outworking and outsizing Gravit. Nice. Irvin lost it. Gravet end to end and one. And he knows how to defend and he knows how to get yelled at playing for <laughs> Frank Martin. Absolutely, playing for Frank is similar to playing for Gino. <laughs> if you're not doing what you need to do, you're gonna hear about it. Actually blocked by Humphreys. Brazdakis back in defense with the steal. Hall, a three. It's second that makes the difference between a contested shot already there while he's shooting it, or he's still running out to contest it. I tell you what, if they were able to make a few more free throws, this would be a lot closer game. Pocket pass, Humphreys rolling to the rim, oh. and a blocking foul plus one. Majette on the bounce. Great backdoor look to Steven Domingo. He slams it down. First quarter, Orlando was getting a lot of backdoors to, towards the basket, but they really caught Westchester slipping right now. Lamar Peters answers with a three. No whistle. So now B.J. Johnson the other way to Kaiser underneath, and it settles through. Rab with seven points, eight boards in his Knicks debut. Johnson slashing to the shy of his career high. He's already bettered his season high by seven. Irvin, no. Rab, a hustle play. Zach Irvin has the defensive assignment in this half court set. Majette banks it in on the line drive. So crafty, and he'll take it across the timeline. Miscommunication and the steal for Domingo to the open floor and the slam. Ten-point game. Brazdakis from deep. Brazdakis driving and denied by Kaiser. 
on the bounce. And a transition layup for Gravette. Game can, is starting to get out of hand, and the Knicks are walking the ball up the court when they need to be att attacking and being aggressive. White the third, a triple. That was White the third's first bucket since the break. Steven Domingo wide open, and he answers right back. Wiley Vett. Majette driving to Kaiser. Michael Kaiser, the open slam. They look for Hinton. That's a two, and he cans it. That's pretty impressive to have the confidence in yourself and go out there and, and make it happen. A steal by the Knicks and a lay-in. The Jet puts a couple in. Hinton in the final seconds. The layup is good. 3.7 left, and Lakeland can run out the clock. A 106-100 final. Lakeland takes down Westchester.